Thank you for selecting the Pulse Feeder Conductivity Cooling Tower Controller for your application. This video is intended to familiarize you with the Microvision controller. Please refer to the detailed information in the installation manual that was provided with your controller and always adhere to all local, state, and national codes. From the home screen, press the menu button and arrow down to settings and select. Connectivity is already highlighted, so press select. The connectivity menu allows you to enter your set point, differential, calibrate the probe, set alarm values, and 4 to 20 milliamp output parameters. The set point is highlighted, so go ahead and select it. This is the connectivity value where a bleed function will begin. Use the up and down arrows to enter your set point value, then press the arrow button to change places, and then press enter and OK to save the setting. The differential setting controls when the bleed function stops. For example, if you set your set point to 1200 and your differential is 100, the bleed function will begin when the conductivity is 1200. Assuming you're in a rising set point type, it will stop when it falls to 1100. The bleed relay has a limit timer so you can set the maximum amount of time the bleed output can stay energized before a bleed limit alarm is reported. The limit timer, when exceeded, only reports an alarm. It does not turn off the bleed relay. If the next bleed cycle completes without alarm, the alarm will clear itself. And use the arrow buttons to enter hour and minute values. Setting the value to zeros disables the timer function. Then hit enter and OK. Probe calibration. Some important information to remember the conductivity probe is very sensitive to temperature changes. Always allow the probe to adjust to the temperature of your test solution or sample for approximately 10 minutes. Only use a temperature compensated calibration meter for calibration. It's always a good idea to calibrate your probe as close to the set point value as possible for accurate control. From the conductivity menu arrow down to the probe cal and select it. You will see the probe's temperature displayed and the conductivity value in micro siemens. Use the arrow buttons to enter the current conductivity value, then hit enter and OK. From the conductivity menu, arrow down to select alarm set point and press select. The track set point is already highlighted, so select it. Simply enter the value here using the arrow buttons, then hit enter and OK. This one value is used for the above and below alarm set point. The other alarm type is independent. Arrow down to independent set points and select it. Use this type if you want to specify a different upper and lower conductivity value for alarm reporting. The first screen is the low value. Simply enter the low value here using the arrow buttons and hit enter and OK. Then the high screen value will appear. Enter the high value here using the arrow buttons. Then press enter and OK. Then press back to return to the calibration menu. The microvision has a 4 to 20 milliamp output that can be used to remotely monitor the conductivity value. To use this option, the high and low range of conductivity values must be entered. For example, if you set the low range for 500 and the high at 2000, when the conductivity value is 500, the output signal would be 4 milliamps. When the conductivity is 2000, the output will be 20 milliamps. To enter these parameters from the conductivity menu, arrow down to 420 milliamp and press select. The adjust range is highlighted. Simply enter the 500 here using the arrow buttons. Then hit enter and OK. Then the high range will appear. Enter 2000 here using the arrow buttons. Then hit enter and OK. Arrow down to cal output and select.
the 4 to 20 milliamp can be fine-tuned to compensate for uncalibrated downstream meter and displays. The low 4 milliamp value screen will appear, and this value can be fine-tuned here using the arrow buttons. Then the 20 milliamp value will appear. This can also be fine-tuned using the arrow buttons as well. This video was a brief overview on how to program your microvision. If you have additional questions, please contact your local sales representative, visit our website at pulsatron.com, or call our tech support 1-800-800-8800.